Hey, I know we're gonna ride together, man. Hey, Tennessee hey, gonna be Tennessee. Hey, hey, we got to go. We got to go. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this. We are proud of you guys. You are our family. Oh, yeah. We're behind you a thousand percent. You're a man. I'm mad at Coach Kiffin. There's nothing he could have done about it. Nobody could have planned Pete leaving SC. I mean, it's just something, something that happens. A bunch of people are mad because of the timing about it. Um, it kind of is bad timing, but I have nothing but respect for Coach Kevin. I'm happy for him, I'm happy for his family. It's a good position, it's his dream job. So um, I'm happy for him, and uh, we just talked to the team. We're going to ride with whoever comes in, whoever the coach is. Coach Kevin, we told him we're going to be we're behind him 100%. So it's just going to be you know, about us getting back to work, going to class tomorrow, and being in Tennessee. As a leader, how hard is it to keep this group together? I heard a lot of young players really upset that committed oh, yeah. to play for him. How do you keep this team from, from being fragmented? We just got to let them know that we're going to be here. Our seniors, we had a meeting. We just got to keep the guys together. It's going to be a really tough time for us, and it's probably going to be make or break time for us. Um, you know, just keeping the team together, just telling them that we're going to play together. We're going to be together. We've always been together. You know, whatever coach has been here, we've always played all for them. So um, it's just going to be time for us. You guys a year ago, all you heard was buy in, buy in, right. buy in, loyalty, loyalty. Mm -hmm. You stand here tonight. How, how tough are those words to kind of recount seeing what's happened tonight? It's a little tough, but. I mean, at the same time, like I said, it's it's not. I'm not mad at him because it's a position that he couldn't, you know, he couldn't turn down. It's his dream job, loyalty. You know, he couldn't. Have, he didn't know that this was gonna come up. So, I mean, I'm still happy for him. I'm still. I still have utmost respect for him. You obviously are calm now. Yeah. Most part, you're a calm guy off the yeah. field, but. Was there a moment in that meeting or a moment when you heard that you were Definitely. pretty angry? Uh, yeah, I was upset like everybody was when we saw it on ESPN and haven't heard from our coach yet. But, you know, like always stuff kind of leaks out. And, you know, he wanted to get here to us before it leaked out. But, you know, some, it didn't work like that. Um, but, you know, it was, there was a point where I was really upset just because it's the second coach. You know, this is the second year in a row it's happened. But, you know, as a leader on this team, I'm just going to, you know, keep this team together. You know, we can't have a letdown right now. You know, we came off a pretty good season. You know, we didn't end the way we wanted to, but we're going to do what we got to do. How would you describe Lane Kiffin during this meeting? You know, he tried to explain a bunch of stuff to us, but, you know, with the, you know, with the anger and hostility that was in the room, just, you know, just a lot of people are upset. He really couldn't get out what he wanted to say. And I just came from talking to him, and, you know, he had nothing but good things to say about our program. You know, he loved it here, but... No, SC is a dream job for him. How many? Do you feel like he ever really bought into the to the Tennessee way? What Tennessee was? Did he ever fully embrace it to appreciate it, or was or was he just here working? I think you know. I think he was starting to get into it. You know, um, for any person that comes in that's not from the state of Tennessee, trying to buy into the ball walk and trying to buy into Big Orange Country, it's it's going to take a little time. And I think you know he finally got to it towards the end of the season. He was starting to love Tennessee, but you know, like I said, it's just something that happens. How many times do you think he was interrupted while he was trying to talk before he got it out? Too much. Way too much. You know, we as as college students we should have shown our maturity just to let him speak and that's what we told him as soon as we like, Y'all gotta let him speak. Just so, you know, there's no reason to drag it out, you know, let him get his stuff in. Was was, was he emotional at all? Hang on a second. Oh. What would you tell him? Hmm? If you got a message for the students, what would you tell him? I just tell him we're gonna be Tennessee today, tomorrow, next year, whenever. It's still gonna be here, no matter what coach is gonna be here. Was he emotional? Did he show much emotion? Yeah, he did. He was upset the way that you know things were happening with us. But um, that's any coach, you know, when he has to leave a, a team that he bought into for 14 months. You know, it's time for you know, this is going to be really tough on him. Chris, you got—he asked you guys from the get-go to buy in. Mm -hmm. New staff, new mm -hmm. approach. You guys did. 14 months later, he's walks. I mean, do you feel like that he's turned your he's turned his back on you guys to an extent? I don't. Um, some other players might if you ask them, but I don't.